As you may have heard, today, Wednesday, May 5th, 2021, Peloton issued a recall on both of their treadmill models, the Tread Plus and the Tread. This news affects nearly 125,000 customers. This comes after the devastating news of the death of one child and reported injuries of 70 others, according to the CPSC. So what does this mean for existing Tread owners? Current treadmill customers are encouraged to contact Peloton and return their product for a full refund. And if not, you can receive one of their other qualifying remedies. In today's video, I'm going to recap the Peloton Tread recall. I'm also gonna talk about my opinion and thoughts on this matter. And lastly, I'm gonna go over a few budget alternatives if you're looking for a treadmill and wanna save a bit of money. The Tread Plus was quite pricey at a retail price of $4,295. The lesser priced tread model of $24.95 was met with a lot of anticipation and even for myself, I was considering purchasing that model. It was sold as a limited, invitation only product from November 2020 till March 2021. I was able to test both tread models in the Peloton store myself a few months ago. According to the Washington Post, the Tread Plus has an unusual slatted running surface with spaces between the slats that open and close as the surface rotates over the end of the machine, kind of like a tank tread. I did find the Tread Plus to be quite unique, albeit a bit bulky. The Tread Plus also has a unique free run mode in which you can use a treadmill with the power off. Basically, you'll just be using momentum to power the treadmill. Peloton introduced the Tread Plus three years ago. The company's patent for a slatted track treadmill was finally approved on April 13th. And surprisingly, just four days after that approval, the CPSC issued a warning against it. On Peloton's site, there's a statement from the acting chairman of the CPSC. In that statement, it basically says that Peloton is required to stop selling both models and offer a refund for those who wish to return their models. In a reply from Peloton CEO, John Foley, he said that Peloton made a mistake in their initial response. They've been working closely with the CPSC to increase safety awareness. And we also have a desire and a responsibility to be an industry leader in product safety. In just Wednesday alone, Peloton stock fell nearly 16%. They announced their earnings tomorrow on Thursday. So what are some of my thoughts regarding all of this? So to me, I'm personally still in shock. I've tested both of their treadmill models in store just a few months ago. I was seriously considering purchasing the lesser priced tread model when it was released in my area. That estimated release date was going to be in May of 2021. And honestly, I hadn't thought anything of it safety wise regarding purchasing one of the treads. I currently have the Peloton bike and I love that. So I figured I may love the treadmill as well. But honestly, there are quite a few other budget-friendly treadmill options that still suit the bill and you can use the Peloton app with it as well. Since I do have the Peloton bike, I don't need to pay an additional charge for the Peloton app because I'm already paying the $39 per month for my bike. Nowadays, you can purchase a treadmill for as little as $400 on Amazon and they are quite compact and convenient as well. They can be stored under a bed, under a couch, or even placed under a standing desk if you wanna get a bit of cardio done during the workday. I have a number of treadmill review videos on my channel, so feel free to check those out if you're interested. Personally for me, especially after hearing all this news, I did move my treadmill to the garage. I do have two small children, so obviously that news hit me pretty hard as well. For treadmill owners, they always recommend to completely remove the safety key as well as turn off the power button. But even with doing those things, I understand that mistakes can happen and that's so tragic to hear. And I know ever since March of 2020, quite a few people have been turning to convenient, effective at-home workout solutions, translating to the rise in sales of treadmills and spin bikes. So honestly, there are quite a few budget-friendly alternatives out there. Now I wonder how all of this will affect treadmill competitors. I'd love to hear your comments down below. Do you think that Peloton's competitors will see a rise in their sales given you can't purchase either of the Peloton tread models currently? Or do you think people would switch from other cardio alternatives from treadmills to spin bikes or something else? 